In the late 1800s, thirsty Westerners had a grand vision create reservoirs to store the sporadic seasonal rain and snow melt of the arid west so it can be used later for the drier times. A system of canals could then be built to carry the water to farms. Buffalo Bill Cody, successful showman and legend of the American West, shared that vision. In 1899, he acquired water rights from the Shoshone River to irrigate thousands of acres of the parched Bighorn Basin. The project proved cost prohibitive, and within two years, Cody and his consortium were cash strapped, but their dream wouldn't die. In 1902, President Teddy Roosevelt championed the Reclamation Act, which established the U.S. Reclamation Service, known today as the Bureau of Reclamation. He considered the Reclamation Act one of his greatest achievements. Originally, Reclamation's goal was to study, locate, and construct irrigation works for the storage, diversion, and development of waters for the reclamation of arid and semi-arid lands. These projects cost enormous sums of money, but Reclamation could provide the funding and engineering to carry a project from concept to completion. By 1905, Reclamation was approved to start building 20 irrigation projects in 17 states west of the Mississippi and on the Rio Grande in Texas. The Shoshone Project was one of those irrigation projects. With its rapid and powerful flow, the Shoshone River seemed like an impossible river to dam. It drains an almost entirely mountainous area, dropping more than 7,000 feet by the time it reaches the narrow V-shaped canyon of the dam site. In 1904, Reclamation began constructing the Shoshone Dam, now known as the Buffalo Bill Dam. The concrete arch dam stores water for farming and for towns to grow. But Reclamation envisioned another way to make use of the stored water. Hydroelectricity. In 1920, construction began on the Shoshone hydroelectric power plant near the base of the dam. Strong gusts and below freezing temperatures threatened workers with plummeting ice and rocks. In 1921, flood water flowing through the dam spillway forced construction crews working from rafts on the river to stop work. Still, crews completed the plant in just two years. Built using concrete made from crushed cliffside rock, the power plant blends into Shoshone Canyon. The building has a symmetrical design with pilasters that extend upward beyond the roofline. Large segmental arch windows light up the inside of the plant, where three generators were installed to transform the power of Shoshone River water into electricity. How is hydroelectricity made? In a magnificent combination of nature and technology, gravity sends water from a reservoir to its power plant through pipes called penstocks and out through a nozzle into the base of a turbine. The high velocity of the water from the nozzle pushes against the blades of the turbine, spinning a central rod that extends to a generator. Inside the generator, the spinning central rod rapidly moves giant magnets past thick coils of copper wire. The interaction of magnets moving past wire generates electricity. The electricity is collected in the generator and travels through wires into a transformer and onto power lines for distribution. Powering everything from washing machines to video games to equipment in factories. Today, Water stored in the Buffalo Bill Dam generates more than 30,000 kilowatts of electricity, enough to light a small town. After nearly 60 years of service, the Shoshone power plant generators were shut down in 1980 due to wear. But America has an ever-increasing need to power its homes and industry. So the Shoshone power plant was brought back online in 1991 with a new generator. The new generator, together with those in three other project power plants built downstream, generate 30,500 kilowatts of electricity using the water stored behind Buffalo Bill Dam to provide irrigation to the Bighorn Basin. As Reclamation and others interested in renewable energy strive for sustainability, the story of hydroelectric power is returning to its roots in the American West, including tapping hydropower from the historic Shoshone power plant.